Part four, triggers and baggage. How unresolved threats lead to accumulated baggage. In this video, we look at how unresolved responses to previous experiences remain trapped in the body as baggage. Until resolved, this baggage can cause disproportionate responses to everyday triggers, whether in relationships, at work, socially, or at home. When we are dysregulated over time, we collect unfinished or frozen responses to old threats, carrying them with us as emotional baggage. Baggage is any fear, pain, or stress we haven't fully dealt with, and is represented here by the red squiggle. As the name suggests, just like real baggage, we carry this around with us everywhere. The green arrow represents a trigger, which can be anything that causes a response to an earlier threat that caused us to freeze. Triggers are personal and different for everyone. For example, if you were bitten by a dog when you were younger and didn't get a chance to fully process that fear, hearing a dog bark might trigger that unfinished response and you were activated to fight or flee, but froze and were unable to process the energy. The sound might make you panic, bringing back the visceral feelings of fear you experienced as a child, even if the barking dog isn't a real threat now. This is because your body is still responding to the old threat. We might refer to this as an overreaction. Your response is much stronger than the actual situation warrants and is represented here by the large red arrow. In contrast, some people might underreact meaning they don't show any outward sign of distress, even though they're feeling overwhelmed inside. This diagram shows a response to a stimulus that is significantly less than the intensity of the stimulus. For example, if a person is screamed at by a partner, and instead of responding in a similar tone, they remain quiet, still, and non-confrontational. In this case, the person might seem calm on the surface, but internally they are struggling holding everything tightly inside out of fear. The goal is to achieve a balanced reaction where your response to a trigger matches the actual level of threat right now. Think of it like Goldilocks finding the porridge that is just right. When our nervous system is well regulated, our reactions are proportionate and appropriate to the trigger. There are three different types of reaction to a trigger. On one end, there's an underreaction where the response is suppressed. In the middle, you have an overreaction where the response is much more intense than necessary. Then there's the Goldilocks reaction, a response that's just right, balanced and in proportion to the trigger. The blue shield represents a boundary around our emotional baggage, reducing the impact of a trigger as shown by the green arrow. For example, a trigger that might be measured as bringing a threat of, say, 3 out of 10 could be brought down to 1 out of 10 with the shield in place. This blue shield symbolizes containment, which is the use of slightly different strategies to manage our reactions to the triggers, the red arrow. Containment is about not shutting down communication but without making it all about attacking other people. For example, a key role to learning to practice containment might be to avoid saying the word you when explaining your reactions. While this sounds simple, it's actually very challenging in practice. Containment doesn't mean staying silent, but rather speaking within certain limits. For example, when we feel overwhelmed by the demands of a partner or a friend, we can pause before reacting and explaining our feelings. Boundaries and containment work together forming a protective shield around our nervous system. This video has explored how boundaries and containment can act as a protective shield, helping to manage underreactions or overreactions to triggers, allowing us to handle stress more effectively. You'll find a link to the Invisible Lion book in the description for a more detailed look at the way baggage affects us, as well as strategies for managing reactions. The next video will explore how baggage can affect relationships and how we can begin to restore our nervous systems to a place of regulation in order to experience functional, healthy, and enjoyable relationships.